Hello there. My name is Bruno Fernandes and I work as a electronic engineer at the European XFEL. In this presentation, I will show you the high-level FPGA programming framework currently being developed. This framework allows for people unfamiliar with FPGA programming the ability to develop their own application and integrate them on our FPGA project structure. This video will show the framework workflow and its main features. Here you can see the XFL Simulink library. This library contains all the necessary blocks to develop an application. The first block the user must have on his environment is the project's definitions block. With this block, the user defines which is the target board for his application. When choosing a board, the framework will automatically include all the available I.O. interfaces for that board on the user's environment. The user can choose to delete all I.O. that are unnecessary for his application. All Silings modules developed in Simulink require the System Generator block, which defines the parameters for the target FPGA. Our project's definitions block automatically inserts and configures it according to the chosen board. For version control, we have three fields. The project ID, which is unique for a given application, a major and a minor version. The user must also define which is the protocol that his application interfaces. Based on their user registers, the framework will generate the necessary logic to access these registers through the chosen protocol. As of now, the framework supports the internal interface protocol used at the European XFEL, but other protocols will be available, namely Ethernet, Wishbone and UART. Other projects using these protocols will then be able to use our framework to develop their application modules. The next block is the bus block. This block allows for user-defined registers and memories that will later be accessed via the protocol the user defined. A set of fields are available to specify the parameters of the register and the block regenerates itself accordingly. We also provide blocks that simulate the behavior of available features on the board. A common feature at the European XFEL boards is the low latency protocol. This is a protocol used to transmit machine data via different interfaces, for instance SFP. A low latency transmitter and receiver blocks are available on the library that accurately simulates the FPGA implementation of this feature on Simulink. With this, the user can develop an application that communicates with this protocol in a realistic environment. Let's look at the already elaborate algorithm and see exactly how we can include it on the FPGA. This complex algorithm includes several input registers, memories and output registers as well. The design is simulated with real data collected from laboratory experiences, which is read by MATLAB and made available on the Simulink environment. With the project's definitions block, the user informs the framework that is ready to have its design on the FPGA. The framework asks for a confirmation and an output folder. The framework then analyzes the application and, based on the registers and memories the user define, it generates the necessary logic to communicate with the registers via the chosen protocol. The framework also asks if it should make a standalone version of the user application. This makes it very easy for users to share and distribute their applications with other projects and boards. Here's the final design. The block on the right is a copy of the user application, while the block on the left is the user interface logic generated automatically by the framework. The Simulink tools can now generate an NGC file of this final design, which can then be used on an IZ project. This will later on be done automatically by our framework. Also made available is an XML file with all the user registers and memory definitions, which can then be used by software tools to easily access these registers. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions or would like to try the framework by yourself, please contact me at bruno.fernandes at I'm looking forward to answering all your emails.